Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, we had gotten done dealing with HK, dealing with the Harbinger, uh, which was a Republic ship that is no longer a Republic ship because it's been overtaken by the Sith. And now we're in the fuel line, to get to the Ebon Hawk, which is the only ship that we know relatively for sure, A, we can contain and control, and B, isn't infested with Sith. So, onward we go. Oh, T3. Looks like it's been hit with an ion charge and dumped here. And he's still operational. Cool. I know, we ran into the protocol droid too earlier. He attacked us as well. How did you survive? He just dumped you into this fuel pipe? Sounds like he just wanted to keep you out of the way until he could find a way off the station with us. Don't blame yourself. If you haven't got, if you hadn't gotten out of us out of the administration level, we'd have never get, made it this far. I can't talk today. <laughs> That's what I'm figuring out. I need more caffeine. Speaking of, big old gulp of that. That should work. All right, let's go. T3 has joined your party. He has the ability to make programming spikes on demand and can also upgrade items if asked. Can't complain about that. And he has level ups too. Cool. And where's the rest of us? At six. So he has like at least three. Alrighty. Fun. Let's see what we can get. Mm hmm. Let's up dexterity a bit, just to help with the blasters. Hmm. There we go. That'll work. And skills, up everything that he has available. Feats. Well, we could give him two weapon fighting. That is a possibility. Uh, let's do toughness for now. I knew he would have another one. <laughs> I knew it. There we go. And for that one, now we'll give him two weapon fighting. There we go. That sounds good to me. And I was about to say, I think he does have two of the mining lasers equipped. That'd be fine. Really, I didn't... Hmm. thought I had other things attached. Oh, wait, because the shock arm was working just fine. That's right, I remember now. Regenerate vitality points, regeneration three. Might as well throw that on him. Um, yeah, that should be good. Just had to make sure that I had him equipped as well as we could. And I'd say we are doing just fine in that regard. Cool. All right. Now that that's done. Ooh, that's an average Sonic mine. We might as well see if he can recover it. Skill too low. Okay. Say the word. Well, skill monkey. It's <laughs> time to test your ability. Oh, come on. All right. Fine. There. We'll try that. Insulated loves. No, that's not going to work. Uh, it's worth a shot. Maybe it's just high enough with that belt. Ha 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 It was. All right. Beautiful. 
Concealed Stash. Hangar 25's Control Conduit. Hmm. Looks like this container was deliberately tossed here. The Control Conduit looks important. Well, I wonder why it looks it. Probably because it is. Well, hello. Bye. And there's one over there, which I should focus on. Never mind, they dealt with it for me. Okay. Gonna try and deal with it at range, and they're good. <laughs> they're such good ranged combatants that I don't even need to worry about anything. <laughs> Oh my god. Blaster carbine. Alright. Alright. That ain't too bad. Blaster carbine. That ain't terrible. Question is, who do I give that to? Is it even worth giving it to someone? It has a shorter range, but higher damage threshold. That's also not upgradable either. Hmm. Unskilled thugs and mercenaries. Ow. Okay. Um. Hmm. Sure, why not? If we absolutely have to. Or can give him just a normal laser and give me the carbine. That's an idea. If I have to go ranged, I might as well have something decent. Ish. Key phrase. Ish. Alright, time to move on. I knew there was at least one more. I knew there was one more at least. Bye bye That is why I am the melee guy. Because sometimes they're Blasters ain't going to be enough for their shields. And I'm sure... Nope. Not him. Say the word. You. Average Sonic Mine. I was about to say, I was sure there would be at least one there too. And I get a level up off of that? Okay. Okay. Well, um, I'm at four points, so create injury up, persuade up, obviously. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, hmm. Now oh, there's so many good ones. So many good ones that I could do. What is this one again? Regenerate vitality points. Oh, that'd be so nice. But we're going to do improved two-weapon fighting just so I'm not constantly missing all the time anymore. Or at least limit that as much as possible. And... Uh, <laughs> this is where the amount of choice becomes a detriment because now I don't know what to do. Um, force deflection would be nice. Yeah, it would be very nice. Let's do that. Mainly because I don't have to rely on a lightsaber anymore to keep myself protected from blaster bolts. All right. Next one. <laughs> See, I'm already seeing a marked improvement. A massive marked improvement. Because I'm not missing nearly as much in melee cam... Uh, cambat? <laughs> cambat. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I'm in trouble. Was that... Either someone threw a grenade or someone ran into a mine. Either way, I'm annoyed that that happened at all.
All right, now that's done. Well, hi there. Didn't expect any of you. At least not here. And hey, credits, med pack, energy shield, and repair kit. But worth it coming back here after all. And there's nothing else back here. Okay. Alright. Oh, almost missed that. And that. Okay. Oh, and more remains. Okay. Minor sonic detonator. That is fine. Alright. Let us see what we can get. Emergency field. Shut down emergency field to exit ramp. No custom charges detected, because I just got done getting rid of them. Emergency field disengaging. Nice. And with that, we can get out of here. Oh. This area is filled up with a lot more droids than there were last time. Alright. Is that another... Oh, that's just the door that I never got opened. Okay, that's what it was. It's kind of nice not having to worry about blaster bolts anymore. <laughs> the deflection, I can deflect them back at them. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's good to know. That's great to know. Now I don't have to worry about blaster bolts ever again. Ranged combat is now easy. Well, until I get a blaster in my hands, I don't know if... That whole thing also works with a blaster in my hands. I might have to test that at some point. But that'll be a later thing. Okay, call up system log. Yeah, 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 yeah. Access remote cameras, fuel line sensors. We've already been in there. Maintenance level. Entrance to droid maintenance area. Yep, that's still no way to shut down the field from this terminal. So that is still unreachable at the moment. Which means the workbench over there is unreachable too. Urgh. Be nice if I could. But no, game won't let me. Mm -hmm. So just this turbo lift is available for the Paragus docking bay. I'm really hoping that we're able to get uh, we're able to get Kraya off of this rock before uh, before it becomes an issue. Every time I load into a new area, I have to refix this. Every time. That's my main and really own leg gripe. Flamethrowered me? Really? There we go. And we'll go after you next. There we go. Whoops. Wanted to go after you. They burned through his shield. <laughs> nice. Alright, we got another level up for Atten this time. Alright. Gotten a sneak attack. Okay. More demolitions. Don't need... I like how that is in orange. Even though it's not something he can use. Huh, it's silly. But I guess... Actually, it doesn't make sense. Why is that an orange? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> doesn't matter, I guess. Awareness. Yeah, there we go. That'll be fine. That will be fine. And we're done. Yeah, he doesn't have any other things going on with him other than skills. Which is fine by me. Skill monkey ahoy. As the uh, term goes. Uh, none of them have remains I can loot. Damn. There's a 
hoping there would be. All right, let's get out of here. And insert that conduit. This door's magnetically sealed. I can't believe this. The ship's right out there, and we can't get to it. Well, that's why we got the conduit there, bud. What? The console? Huh? What is that piece of junk saying? He said he can open the door to the hangar. He just needs the... He just needs to access the hangar terminal up on the platform. How can you even understand that noise? I served with a lot of utility droids in the... Well, many years ago. All right, well, if he can slice the door open from the terminal above, don't let me stop him. Well, there we go. All right, hangar control. I don't even need the hangar bay layout at this point because I'm going to be out of here soon. So, replace hangar control power conduit. And ta -da. Oh, and there's a droid right there. That's not good. And there's no other loot to get. The droid disappeared. Oh, there it is. Just walked away slightly. Let's settle this. Well, that's all we can hope for anyway. And we can go through you and then burn through you as quickly as possible. All right. <laughs> and, and another level up. All right. Can't complain about that. And then we'll go through him next. I was sure that their shield was going to go up. Which is why I decided to go in. Perfect. And that... It, wait, that's already been looted? Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right, some of these will just be empty. <laughs> that makes sense. Alright, ooh, remains. What do we got here? Droid optimized interface. Don't I already have that on? I do. Okay, well then, no worries there. I keep hitting the wrong button. What I meant to do was this. Droid upgrade class 2. Hmm. Interesting. We go get everything else up to max and good. Perfect. All right. And with that, I think we're good. We can head out of here. So I think we can. Well, hi. <laughs> All right. Alright, let's back up real quick. Where, where y'all going? <laughs> Wanted to make sure, A, that everything was looted over here. And there was no other loot to be had. Okay. Fair enough. Get the remains off of you, though. Droid Neural Pacifier. What is that? Now I want to know. Neural pacifier. Oh, that's a stun. Okay. Well, flamethrower has damage. Whereas, this is just a stun. Shock arm. Special. Eh. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Don't need to worry about that. And since there's a bunch of mines in the way, I think I'll turn solo mode on. Just so the rest of the guys aren't becoming a detriment. Especially if an enemy walks up in the middle of me doing that. Which I hope they don't. Ha ha ha! There is an enemy there. But they didn't walk up. Alright. Alright. Turn solo mode off again. They should be running behind me. A little delayed, but I got the spirit. All right. Onward we go. Environment droid. 
Oh boy. Am I not doing any damage to them at all? Okay, there we go. I was about to say that is shenanigans. Perfect. And more mining droids, because of course. Hey. Up. Oh. Yeah, I know. Mine sighted. So let's just switch back to Atten and have him deal with that in solo. Ooh, remains. Q. Droid deflector. Which I think is already on T3, so I don't need to worry about that. And the home stretch, folks. Almost on our way off this rock. Home stretch. And turn off solo mode. And away we go. Another environment droid. Of course there is. Perfect. <laughs> At this point, we're just tearing through them. We're not even needing... <laughs> not even needing any advantage against them. Oh, boy. Decontamination console. Yeah, we'll need to, we'll need to work with that. Oh, this is where the, having less, com <laughs> less computer spike need is useful. Can't complain about this. All right. Uh, slice the system. Main console bypassed decontamination system access. Uh, don't want to open the door. Access remote camera. Attempt to shut down the decontamination system. Which will then allow us to walk through without poisoning ourselves. Cool. Open the chamber. Beautiful. Alright. And log out. Used up a lot of computer spikes, but... can now walk through without getting damaged. Ooh, metal box. What we got in here? Repair kit and metal shield. All right. What about here? Ooh, another, more metal boxes? Oh, just the one. Another repair kit. That's fine. Before I get on the ship, I know there has to be containers in here somewhere. There is a foot locker that's locked. Well, that makes sense, considering, you know, locker's part of the name. Cargo canister, 32 credits. That ain't too bad. We have time to loot. <laughs> I would say that's probably not true in reality, but we have time, game-wise, to loot. Which is good enough for me. Another neural pacifier, defense barrier. What's the difference between that and the deflector? I'm curious. Okay. The defense barrier absorbs a lot more damage. Well, more damage types and 10 points more total. Okay. This absorbs energy, electric, and ion, and this does energy, sonic, cold, heat, and ion. Oh, it doesn't do electric? Huh. Weird. Probably an oversight. Okay. Key phrase, probably. It might not be. It might have been intentional. But I won't know. Okay, come on. Let's not keep running into a canister I can't open. Okay. Whole bunch of good stuff there. there. Yes, there's one last thing. Droid impact armor, droid deflector, repair kit. And I think that covers everything. Now, here's hoping. Okay, this is the loading ramp to the Ibon Hawk. Once aboard, you will be leaving the mining facility for good. Bye bye
need some time to fire up the engines. Let's get the laser turret a workout. Sounds good to me. Technically, we weren't being chased until this exact moment. Oh, I can't aim for shit. There we go. Ha! Ha! It's gotta fan the trigger. <laughs> That's all I can do. There we go. Miss that guy. It's fine. Like that. I'm doing a weird claw motion. To just fan the trigger. Hey, as long as it works, right? As long as it works. Basically shooting at their feet because of this weird motion I'm doing, but it works. Well, Sith have boarded the ship. I'm sure there's a very minimal number of them. Only three. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Could have been a lot worse. It would, it would be nice if you actually did the closing the combat. There we go. They're doing it from such a long range in the ship that it doesn't seem possible probably isn't. I think they're probably doing it through the uh, level geometry. Nice. One remains. And all Sith troopers are defeated. Please tell me Kray is making it on the ship. All right, let's get out of here. Kraya, your hand. What happened? There is no time. We must leave. You know, considering this is a, you know, mining facility for fuel, shooting wildly like that's probably not a good idea. If they hit us, we're dead. But if they keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. Somebody shut that trash compactor up. Hey. He has a name. Technically, it's a designation, but it's still a name. Isn't there anything you can do? I'm doing all I can, and that's not enough. What'd you do to make these guys so mad? Well, either they hit us and destroy us, or they hit an asteroid and make the whole field go Nova. Just do your best to keep your distance. We'll get out of this yet. What are the asteroids? They can be destroyed by us as well as them, can they not? That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. Yeah, there's got to be another way. Keep evading them until we clear the field, and then we'll try the jump to hyperspace. Hold on. This is going to get a little rocky. Well... Yep, he was right. It went Nova. Well, we managed to get out of it. We just killed a planet. Maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic yeah, warship bit. was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. The Harbinger was on its way to Telos? Yes. To aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. How did you know I was on board? You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. 
When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. Okay, that doesn't seem to jive with the way the Harbinger had been. Hmm. The story from the Harbinger was that they found the Ebon Hawk. That doesn't seem to jive right. Like at all. The Harbinger had not been systematically crippled yet. Yeah, that story doesn't sit right. But hey, it is what it is. How come I don't remember any of this? Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. That's an unusual set of coincidences. True. But as one trained in the Force, you know that true coincidences are rare. How did we get to Paragus? I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to Paragus. Be silent. We're having a conversation here. Hmm. He says he repaired the ship and got us to Paragus, which is true. We all did that in the prologue. Repaired this ship, my eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on, get. You're so mean to the droid. You're so mean. It's unnecessary. Come on, he's just doing his best. Oh man, it's so mean. So why are these Sith looking for me? Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. But I was exiled from the Jedi Order. Exile or not, the Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. But last of the Jedi? That can't be true. The Jedi Civil War destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. What about the Jedi on Dantooine? And Coruscant. The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. From and the first game. the Jedi game. Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the womb of a thousand fountains have fallen still, in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall, and the civil war that followed. If any survivors still live, we need to warn them. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. Then how do we stop the Sith? That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. If we don't stop them, they're going to keep coming. Look, enough with the we already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. But we have no other choice. You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? The Mandalorian Wars were my choice. You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. If I do not try, then we have lost anyway. Ah, like so many Jedi, you hear, but you do not listen. You have much to learn. But we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. 
Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. She seemed well enough for someone who had just lost her hand. I think she was barely keeping it together. I'm surprised she's able to stand with all that pain rolling off of her. She didn't seem in pain to me. Are you blind? If I were her, I'd be screaming like a stuck Minoc. Well, I mean a very strong, manly Minoc. I think right. she's too proud to show any weakness. Especially in front of you. You're right. She may be in pain. I'll see if I can go help. Okay. Light side points. And I didn't lose any influence. Interesting. I expected I would after all of those, uh, <laughs> all of those, uh, against Kreia choices. Technically, it wasn't against her per se. Just, I just, oh, there's still sparks coming off of this. Oh, because it's T3. That makes sense. Security system. Oh, I can look at, I can look in the cameras at stuff. Okay. That's interesting. Out of curiosity, let's cargo hold, cockpit, yeah, that makes sense, communications, where I'm at, engine room, yeah, doesn't look too bad in there, considering, exit ramp, garage, ah, uh, yeah, this was the area where the swoop bike was set up in, so yeah, garage would make sense, okay, main hold, Medical Bay. Port Dormitory, where Kray is sitting. The Starboard Dormitory. Storage Compartment. Huh. Well. Might as well see what's up with that. It's an 8K unit, but... It's not the same as the other ones that we fought. And it's damaged. This looks like the remains of an HK unit, but older and more corroded than the one you encountered on Paragas. Its power core still carries a charge, but a number of critical parts appear to be missing. Diagnose it. Looks as if this droid is missing four critical components. Its droid processor, or replacement droid chassis, control cluster that's supposed to be stored in the chassis, and its vocabulator. Well, I do have the vocabulator in my inventory. You have installed the droid's vocabulator. Cool. Alrighty. Can't complain about that. Just explore the ship a little bit. Huh. The old emergency supplies thing is gone. Or am I in the wrong spot for that? No, that was in the storage area. Workbench! Ha ha! Cool. Alright. So now we're just relying on... <laughs> <laughs> We're just relying on my set of skills for all of this. Welp. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, I can <laughs> make the long sword. I can't make anything else. Damn it. Oh, well. Armor weave. It's underlay. Immunity. To attribute damage. And 10% versus energy, and... Huh. It's not bad. Ooh. Strengthening underlay mark 3. Ups my strength even further. Can't complain about that. Let's look at everything else. Computer use. Ooh. Allows me power pulsator, which adds... Massive criticals and extra damage. 
Well, once they get to three, it adds extra damage. It's a massive criticals otherwise. And then Iron Charger. Okay. These are for droids. I don't foresee running into many droids in the future. Basic Ryleth Power Cell. Oh, this just ups damage. Standard ups damage further. Broadening Chamber. Oh, this adds to massive criticals. And this also adds damage bonus. Massive criticals and attack modifier. Okay. Beam splitter adds to damage bonus. Okay. Well, I might as well look at everything I can make. Oh. <laughs> I need to repair skill to make all of this. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. That can make lightsaber parts, although it won't help me make an actual lightsaber. At least not yet. <sighs> okay. Well, at least I know that that's there. And Medical Bay should have... Wait, doesn't? Doesn't have... Oh, come on. Where's a lab station? Should have a lab station. That's bullshit that I don't... Oh, well. Heat shielding. I'll leave that there. I'll leave that there. Uh, Deferonian Edge. Deferonian Edge. That's fine. Uh, military suit. It's equipped on... I'm pretty sure I have that equipped on Atten. Light battle armor. There's nothing I can put on that. Battle armor. Vibro blade. Well, I mean, I have the ability to... Oh, that makes it require focus. Sonic Discharge Cell. Lowers the attack modifier, but adds extra damage and massive criticals. Well, I don't see why not. There we go. Put that together, because why not? All right, well, near the end of the episode, and I <laughs> did... Well, we got off of Paragus, at least. We got off Paragus, we managed to get into the Ebon Hawk once again. Home sweet home-ish. And... Yeah. We have an HK unit there. Looks like uh, our old buddy... HK-47. We'll find out if that's actually true or not. And... Kreia lost her hand, but she managed to make it off of Paragus with us, so there's that. We'll have to visit with her next episode. But, might as well end this one before we get on to that. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos, and you want to see more, click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so you can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games, and finally off of Paragus, and just trying to figure out what to do next with, uh, well, A, equipment, and B, I guess we have to head to Telos, so I guess that's the next thing we have to do. But gonna talk with our new party members quickly before we do that but that'll be next episode for you